came to the map, this is the Dreamscape sales store. Is that a giant eyeball? Something similar. The sins you've committed are beyond pardon. But I respect every individual's right to carry out volunteer work. Give this place a thorough cleaning! <laughs> My apologies. When I received this dream bubble, some of the audio tracks were missing. And perhaps even the memorial is unable to transmit the voice of Akivili. However, I can make some adjustments to the dream bubble to improve your experience. <laughs> Meaning you can choose anyone's voice for Akivili. As long as it's a voice you're familiar with, I'll be able to replicate it in your subconscious. Some you're close to, unless you're willing to accept a very unpleasant listening experience. Well, please, make a decision. I'll do my best to fulfill your needs. Snowmobiles into the Tychian Stadium 
and disrupted the match, causing the match to be suspended. Because of you, 20 trailblazers were forced to repair the severely damaged exterior of the stadium for three months without pay. You plead guilty to this charge? Yes, I plead guilty. You sneaked into the Hai Zoo and splurged half an Amber Era's crew budget on 250 Nose Walker Cubs. You kept them in the restroom, where they were left to breed and multiply uncontrollably, causing other carriages to be filled with sewage. Do you plead guilty to this charge? Yes, I plead guilty. You barged into the kitchen of the dining carriage, claiming that the whole area needed disinfection. This resulted in the loss of 42 crispy, crumbly pawpaw pies. And because you also took the last serving of the express special in the fridge, I was left starving. You plead guilty to this charge? The first one is clearly a result of your own doing. But I do admit to consuming the last serving of the Express Special. Ahem! Don't get carried away just yet! This is only the beginning of your list of culinary offenses! There are cases of entire entries disappearing from the Express databank! Plants in the parlor car being watered with soul glad! Disrupting the conductor's rest with noise! And a break-in to the conductor's exclusive snack vault. Whatever it is, Omega, I won't make any explanatory or leading comments on the content of this drink. And that's not even half the list. There are a total of 46 cases of malicious conduct. Do you admit to being the culprit in every case? Sorry. I am indeed the worst nameless in the universe. No, you are not. Could there be anyone worse than me? Of course there is! Who? That guy who blew up the train into two pieces! That's all for the content of this dream club. How was your experience? <laughs> the string of aligns with what you desire in your subconscious. If you're interested in experiencing the dream level again, you can purchase it with credits. This dream level is indeed priceless. Still, please give it some consideration. Well, they're going to buy it. Thank you. <laughs> Hope to see you at least. This is your first time using the dream level. Here's a stick. You can use it to decorate your dreamscape cards and commemorate your unique trip to Pentacle. I was hoping I would find some clues about the nameless up here. Well, can't expect it to be that easy. She went that way. Get her! What's going on? What's all the commotion about? Watch your step now. Uh, I almost got hit by a steel. Don't even think about running away. You stole away. Bothering you. Please. 
Please, I need your help. Hey, look! She has an accomplice. Ah, good work. Now we can nab them both in one go. That's enough, boys. Uh, sir, sir! What's gotten into you all? Open your eyes and take a good look. Is this lady the stowaway we're looking for? Huh? Who, who's this? Don't you know him? Look at his brown hair and grey vest. Uh, he's the officer, sent here by the family to maintain order at the Charmony Festival. I see. Sir, the thing is, we're trying to apprehend a stowaway. And that young lady there looks very suspicious. We're sure she's the one. That's nonsense. Take another look, will ya? The witness report says that the suspect is a lad with silver hair. You guys are going after a girl with silver hair. Does that even make sense? She's our guest. Well, just get out of my way and I'll take care of this. Yes, yes sir. Sorry for all the trouble you went through back there. I'm Gallagher from the Bloodhound family, and those idiots are some young Bloodhounds I've been training. Because of their youth and inexperience, they mistook an honored guest of Penacone for a criminal. This is indeed a regrettable mistake. I'd like to offer my sincerest apology to you on behalf of the Bloodhound family. The Bloodhound family are guards of the Dreamscape. We're in charge of security here, and our duties include arresting people who try to enter our world illegally. We got a tip that some criminals were planning to take advantage of the festivities around the Charmony Festival to sneak into Penacone. Now that the festival is just around the corner, there are likely many shady characters lurking around. Huh? Don't worry. I believe this is just a misunderstanding. How could such a lovely girl like you be a stowaway? <sighs> Thanks. Without your kind help, I wouldn't know what to do. Just part of the job. <laughs> I need to get going. If you need help, you can reach out to me through the young bloodhounds in this area. I wish you an enjoyable experience in this land of dreams. Big one. 
If it hadn't been for you, I might have been taken away by them. Thank you so much. By the way, I've just noticed. You're a nameless, right? Is this your first time here on Penacony? You have the Astral Express badge on you. I saw it on the big screen once. I also know that you guys often travel around different places in the cosmos. Did the family invite you here? Uh, I'd be happy to show you around. Although the Bloodhounds mistook me for a stowaway, I'm actually a local. My name is Firefly, and I'm from the Iris family. I work as a stage performer, although right now I'm just an extra. When there are no acting gigs, I work as a guide near Glocks Avenue. If you don't mind, I can show you all the exciting things around here. Maybe if I do my job as a guide, people will stop suspecting me. <laughs> Glad to hear that. After all, you just did me a huge favor. Over here! It's not a bad idea to get to know about this place. Watch your step now. First stop most people head to as soon as they arrive in the Dreamscape is the OT Mall. The Dreamscape sales stores here is super famous. There are also stores that sell luxury goods, apparel, trendy toys, and even cars. As long as you have enough alfalfa coins, you can buy anything you fancy. Items purchased in the Dreamscape can also be brought into reality through an extra service. Unfortunately, the transfer of automobiles to the real world is not available at the moment. You can come back for the next time. Just outside the mall is the plaza! Follow me! I'll buy you a nice meal. Give him a kid's meal! We're here! Hey, have you ever heard of this saying that goes, In a dream, hunger is the most precious spice. Well, you can find all kinds of local delicacies here. Clocky pizza, oat cake rolls, alfalfa salad, and the classic Soul Glad. Feel free to pick up anything you like. Today, it's my treat. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll pay up. I love their oatcake rolls. I get one from here every day. <laughs> like, I won't put on any weight since this is all a dream. Let's walk while we eat. It's time to head to the next stop. about earlier. If we keep going, we'll reach Glax Avenue, which is the road to Golden Hour.
Come this way. Let me show you something interesting. Look! That's the statue of Clocky, Penacony's famous cartoon character. It's the oldest and most famous animation from Penacony. It follows the adventurous life of Clocky and his friends in the town of Dreamville. To date, over 10,000 episodes have aired. Ominous? Clocky is a household name here. There would never be anything ominous about him. Right? By the way, do you know that Clocky's design is said to be inspired by none other than the legendary watchmaker? I can't believe you haven't heard of him! He was a legendary tycoon in the history of Penacony, the founder of the dreamscape, the man who turned dreams into reality. There are different stories out there about the watchmaker's origin. Some said he was a traveling merchant from beyond the sky. Some claim that he was exiled to Penacony as a prisoner. And some speculate that he wasn't even a real person, just a symbol. The true story is anyone's guess, but everyone aspires to emulate his success and be the next watchmaker. As his inspiring story became known across the cosmos, those with a dream flocked to Penacony in droves. They held feast after feast, eventually building the planet of festivities we have today. Everyone in Penacony knows this name. The cartoon character Clocky is portrayed as reckless and full of hot air. But I believe the real watchmaker was a nameless. After all, creating the dreamscape sounds like just the kind of thing a trailblazer would do. Hmm. Hold on. If the watchmaker really was a nameless, wouldn't that make him your predecessor? Would you like to take a picture with him? Photogenic. Statue? 
why did you suddenly jump just now? with sharp edges and points. <laughs> um, I don't think I saw it. Well, <laughs> if you're okay, let's move on to the next stop, which is just a stone's throw away from here. Please follow me. that building in the distance? That's the famous Grand Theater, another great landmark of Penacony. Has a pretty unique shape, doesn't he? In the real world, it was originally the central prison of Astana. The family renovated it in the dreamscape and transformed it into the glorious Penacony Grand Theater. Since the moment it was built, the Grand Theater has graced the entire dreamscape with its rendition of the Odes of Harmony. During the Once in an Era Charmony Festival, family members will gather at the theater to welcome the harmonious choir that blesses Penacony with everlasting peace. And here we are! The best viewing spot in all of Golden Hour. Look, there's even a telescope here! When the Charmony Festival arrives, remember to be here early if you want to get a seat. Next, I'll bring you somewhere you can really have fun. That place up ahead is Idine Park. Everything here is themed around Soul Glad. It's a little crowded, so make sure you stay close to me. This is the largest park in Golden Hour. It represents the soda culture of Penacony. The gigantic soda bottle houses the headquarters of the Soul Glad Enterprise. Glad is said to have originated from a sweet medicinal syrup popular during the prison era. Invented by a man named Susa, it was thus called the Sisa Juice. Ideen, an interstellar traveling merchant, saw the potential in the beverage and purchased the formula. Ideon then carbonated the beverage and renamed it Soul Glad. He also pioneered the school of thought known as Syrupism, in which he promoted the consumption of Soul Glad as a new kind of lifestyle. And just like that, he created a commercial miracle. Did you know? One of the ingredients in the original recipe for Susa juice, known as Dream Leaf, has gone extinct. That means the only place you can get a taste of Apocalypse Soul Glad is in Penacony's Dreamscape. Now this is also the only place where one can fully experience the core values of syrupism. Nearby for help. 
Show me your dreamscape pass. Name. Here's your dreamscape pass and tokens. Be sure to keep a good hold of them. Have a good time. How many tokens are there? Ten. You may now enjoy the attractions in Penacony to the fullest. Thanks. <laughs> Let's try out some of the games nearby. Our goal is to use all the tokens. Should we try first? Since this is your first time here, I say we start with the easiest games. The Dreamy Slots and Lucky Wheel are pretty straightforward. so long. Hmm. She's heading toward the bar.
first time playing pool on a round table. the tokens. Time to meet Firefly. people can find solace here. <laughs> I really appreciate your help earlier today. That's why I took the chance to introduce this beautiful place to you. It was willing to accept me, even though I didn't belong here. I've grown very fond of this place, and that makes me want to <laughs> share it with others. Because, well, someone's been following you. Don't turn around. I'm certain that you're his target. He's been on our tail since we parted ways with Mr. Gallagher. I wondered whether he was a friend of yours, but my instincts told me he wasn't. He's about five feet, nine inches tall, give or take. Judging from his strong build, it's clear that he's well-trained. He walks in long strides, but his steps are light and barely audible. That way of walking doesn't leave footprints. He looks like a skilled fighter. The covert kind. He has large palms, yet his fingers are slender and nimble. I reckon he has experience using knives, like a short sword or a dagger. Do you know anybody like that? A maroon jacket? Emerald eyes, dark blue hair. Ah, he's coming our way. Hey, well, if it isn't my most loyal customer, the Trailblazer Girl. It's been such a long time, old friend. What a coincidence to run into you here. Oh my, I'm in luck today. Yes! It's none other than your old friend, Santo! You're surprised to see me? <laughs> you know, it's thanks to you that I can be here. You help Yorello 6 open up to the outside. Um, this gentleman is? Oh, Miss March, don't you remember me? After all the favors I did for you all in Bellabog?
My name is Firefly. I'm a stage performer from the Iris family. Oh, no wonder. I was just thinking, there's no way Miss March could change her appearance so dramatically in such a short time. It's my pleasure to meet you. My name is Sempo, and I'm an old pal of hers. Come on. It's been so long since we last met each other. How can you just walk away like that? Mr. Sampo, what's the purpose of your visit to Penacone? My purpose? <laughs> You're funny. What else can I do in Penacone? Well, I just hang around, daydream, and do the things that anyone on vacation would do. Speaking of which, old pal, since fate brings us here, I'm obliged to give you a tour of this area. I've been watching you two for a long time. Miss Firefly does know Penacone well, but when it comes to entertainment for grown-ups, I think I can do much better. <sighs> entertainment for grown-ups? Looks like my analysis is spot on. <laughs> Follow me, you two. Let me give you a taste of the adult world. Mr. Sampo. Anything bothering you, Miss Firefly? Don't worry. This isn't going to involve anything illegal. Takes a long time to reach the other side on foot. How about we just bounce over there using the pinball machine? Pinball machine? She's not fully acclimated to the dreamscape yet. This could get dangerous. Dangerous? Miss Firefly, we're in a beautiful dreamland crafted by the family. How could it be dangerous? This is the perfect place to have some thrills. Come on, pal. Show her what you're made of. Bingo! Our destination is right there. Peppy Papeshi Salon. Noise. 